Hi, this is a quick tutorial video on um, Vicar usage with the KA-50. Start off, the targeting system needs to be turned on. If it's on, the TV screen here will be on. Next, we turn on the laser. Finally, we turn on the master arm. Now, there are two ways to designate a target, although they both do the same thing. If you have a head tracker, you're going to want to use the helmet mounted sight. How you will use that is you bring it up, put it over or near a target, and press the O key. That'll bring up the targeting camera and slew it to that location. If you do not have a head tracker, you're simply going to press the O key and it's going to put the pipper way up there. In either case, you will then use the uh, targeting camera slew controls to move it onto the target. You can zoom in and out with the plus and minus key and adjust the target bracket size with the two bracket keys. You press enter to lock a target once you have one lined up. Now I have Vickers on the outer hard points and rockets on the inners. So to select my Vickers I select press the Y key for the outer hard points. So you can see I have 12 missiles. And then I'm going to line up the target ring with uh, the missile ring. The missile ring ensures a good track on the target. Now when it's lined up I will have this S appear. It'll be a C if you have the Russian cockpit. And that's basically just your shoot cue. So everything's lined up, I have the shoot cue, press the fire button, missile away. It's tracking. And it hit the target. However, the Abrams is pretty tough, so a frontal armor shot like that generally doesn't kill him with one missile. So I'm going to switch to two missiles at a time. I do that by changing this from short to medium. That will allow me to fire either one missile or two at the same time. To fire two, I press and hold the launch button until both fire. Both are tracking, and this should kill it, provided they hit. I think they fell short. I'll go ahead and try again. Now one thing about these missiles is they are beam riding. They are laser guided, but they are beam riding. That means that the seekers look back at the launching aircraft rather than the target. Seriously? He's still alive? Abrams are known to be tough, you know. So, um, because they are beam riding, you do need... That finally got him you do need to uh, hold still. You can't side slip. You can't maneuver around. You can either hover or fly straight at your target. You don't want to do anything to upset the beam. Or else the missile will just lose track of you. But uh, the advantage is they are more or less jam proof and these missiles have very long range on them. So you can outrange most things that shoot back. That said, you don't want to get too close to a SAM, which I do have up here somewhere. There it is. Now, if you're out of range, in this case I'm not, I'm only 7 kilometers. But if you're beyond 7.3 kilometers, you're going to need to switch to manual mode. Um, the reason for this is the computer will not let you shoot if it thinks you're out of range. So what you do is you switch this switch up to manual, and now you can fire under any conditions at all. So I bring my Vickers back up and I can fire. 
I can see here I don't have the auto track indicator over here. So I have to manually hold the pipper on the target with the slew keys. This uh, happens a lot in low light conditions. Which this is not, but the game thinks it is. And by the way, I never switched out a medium. Uh, I fired a single missile by just tapping the button instead of holding it. And I think that's everything for Vickers. They're pretty simple. Thanks for watching.